All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, Pook, with a late night vlog, as you can see right there. <laughs> I got it. Um, recording this before I go to bed here, because I got to get up early in the morning to uh, drive back to Keizu. Um I'm actually home uh, for Thanksgiving today, so I'm in my brother Raj's room. Let you guys have a look. So yeah. I'm um, just here sleeping in his room for now, and then I gotta get up early tomorrow and head on out, because I got work, so, yeah. <laughs> gotta be there for Black Friday, right? You know, so. In any event, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some stuff that's gonna be going on in the, uh, coming months. Um, not gonna be anything super soon, but like I said, starting next year, uh, I was talking with my folks about uh, possibly transferring to a closer university and, you know, they were pretty okay with it. Um, not that I needed their approval or anything, but uh, I just wanted to transfer someplace closer because eh, I don't really have anything in Kalamazoo and uh, it's starting to wear on me a little bit as far as uh, just being alone up there. It just feels like I either go to school, go to work, go to the store, and that's it. Because, you know, the cost of living up there is really high as well. So, that's another thing I gotta consider is that, you know, my GI Bill doesn't really get me all that far. And I only have so many hours that I can work and still maintain a halfway decent GPA. So, I'm just kind of in a bind as far as that goes. And I don't want to get roommates because I don't really trust anybody in the area. And I don't really know anybody all that well to be like, yeah, let's let's room together, <laughs> you know. But also, it's just you know, with Western man, like, uh, I just feel like the school's really not for me. I feel like it's just really not that much of a good fit for me up there. So, um, looking into transferring to a college a bit closer and in Ohio as well, because, you know, being an out-of-state student kind of puts a damper on some things, so I'd rather be within Ohio. The college I'm looking to transfer to is uh, Wright State in Dayton, Ohio. Um, it's close by to my folks. Uh, some of my friends are out there as well, so, you know, we get a little bit of free time, we could hang out, do whatever, just if like that. And plus, I'm a lot closer to my folks, so that's that's really important, you know. And the cost of living out there is a lot cheaper, too. And I'm only taking a, I think like a $20 or $30 pay cut on my uh, GI Bill BAH. So, you know, that's not bad. And I was just doing some apartment searching earlier. And I found like a lot of really good places for a lot less than what I'm paying now, probably at least $100 or or more or less than uh, what I'm paying up in Kalamazoo. And, you know, if I get an apartment that's fairly close to campus, then, you know, the commute's a lot less, so I'm paying less for gas. All just kind of works out, and plus their, uh, you know, their multimedia program, motion pictures program, stuff like that, is actually really, you know, well put together from what I've seen you know Tom Hanks of all people apparently has his own thing involved with that so that's pretty cool <laughs> I, I got to see the the uh, dedication ceremony on YouTube and that was actually fairly recently too so uh, I think in April of this year so that was pretty interesting gonna be getting the wheels in motion for that um, I still got to talk with the VA coordinator over at Wright State to see, you know, what all goes into transferring, how much time do I need in between semesters to get this thing going. And I mean, ultimately, I can't really apply to Wright State until the end of this semester because that's when my GPA will be recalculated. So with my much higher grade, my much better grades this semester, that should definitely, you know, boost it back up. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm shooting for uh, transferring out there ideally in the summer because there's not going to be a whole lot of people on campus. 
Um, all the kids are going to go home, so apartments are going to be uh, very vacant. <laughs> and also, you know, a lot of local jobs are going to be needing to be filled as well, because, you know, like I said, all the kids are going home. Restaurants and all that kind of stuff still got to run. But, you know, but that just seems to be a pretty good time to go out there. So I think it's all going to work out. And even if I don't go in the summer and I have to wait till fall, that's fine too. I could still uh, take classes at Western until I manage to transfer. But ideally, I would prefer the, uh, the summer semester just because it all seemed to work out. So that's my plans moving forward as far as personal life stuff goes. I'm um, really looking forward to it. Um, I think just being up in that part of Michigan has just really made me lonely and depressed and all this kind of stuff. And I haven't really felt, I haven't really felt connected to Western Michigan University. You know, I haven't really felt like, you know, that's my school. You know, it just feels like a place that I go to. And I'm just kind of there. <laughs> so I felt no real connection with it. So I think going to a different place, uh, one that's closer to friends and family will definitely help out. And plus the, uh, the lower cost of living will also help as well. So I don't have to worry about bills and stuff like that. And I can begin to save up and I can begin to go, you know, I, I can feel less guilty about going out to do stuff. Cause I think, I think that's one of the, uh, the main reasons I've felt so isolated up in Michigan is because, you know, I never really had a whole lot of money up there. It was just pretty much enough to get by, you know, as far as bills and things like that. And I was, I felt like I was just breaking even every month. And even on months where, you know, I'd work a couple extra hours or whatever, and I'd have extra money to go out and do stuff with, like I'd feel guilty because it's like, I don't want to go spending money because if I spend a little bit of money, then I'll start spending a lot of money. And next thing you know, I won't be able to afford rent and, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I'd feel guilty about, you know, spending money recreationally, even though I think, I think you should be able to do it to some extent. I mean, obviously don't go blowing your whole paycheck on stupid shit, but you know, there has to be some kind of balance. And I felt like I, really haven't had that balance, which is another contributing factor to why I haven't really been feeling like myself up in Michigan. And I've been really thinking about transferring for a while now, but I just hadn't really figured out where or, you know, just the logistics behind transferring. But uh, I was looking into the Wright State program uh, before I came down here and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think I think that could work out. So, yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, I haven't submitted an application. I haven't gotten accepted yet. So, I don't want everybody to get too ahead of themselves. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But I am, you know, looking into transferring to a an Ohio-based university, preferably in the Dayton area. So that's what's going to be happening. And as far as youtube -y stuff goes, um, sorry I haven't really been posting a whole lot lately. It's just been really busy with, you know, Thanksgiving coming up. All my classes have been like, oh, you got to do all these big assignments and they got to be due now and all this kind of stuff. So I've been busy working on them before uh, break started up. So um, and I think now it's just going to be leading into finals. So I don't really know what I'm going to be posting from here until the semester ends. Um, I'll basically just make videos whenever I can and I think that's just going to be my MO moving forward with this channel is just to make videos when I can. I know obviously sticking to a schedule would be best, you know, according to a lot of major YouTubers, you know, they stick to a consistent uh, upload schedule. but. That has never really worked for me in the past. Um, even before the re-upload thing happened, uh, I tried doing scheduled videos before, and it just, I didn't really see any difference, you know? If anything, I saw i saw a, uh, a negative trend when I started doing videos on a consistent basis. So, yeah. 
I think I'll just do videos whenever I can. Um, I'll try to get stuff out. I'll try to shoot for at least one video a week. That's kind of my goal. And as far as like what kinds of videos, um, shooting for tutorial videos, for a premiere, and for audition, stuff like that. So I'll be looking into different things you can do with the uh, Adobe Suite. Um, the 2017 Suite recently came out and I downloaded that. It's been... There, there's not too many differences from what I could tell, but uh, just it's mostly just the layout. It's a little different and just little tweaks here and there to make an overall better product. So, But I still want to go over it so that way I can teach you guys how to do different things in there so that way you can make your your vlogs and your videos that much better so that's gonna be one of my main focuses um, gonna be starting up the life after Navy series gonna be doing more uh, just talking about uh, what life is like after the Navy talking more candidly about Navy stuff you know comparing things to when I was in versus what it's like now stuff like that and also, uh, my brother Raj recently joined the army, so um, that's another possibility of when he comes home on leave to do like a Q&A with him, kind of a Navy versus Army Q&A. So I think that'd be kind of cool just to kind of compare, you know, what boot, boot camp was like for him versus for me and stuff like that, and just how his uh, DIs were compared to my RDCs. Uh, so I think that'd be pretty fun. And uh, vlogs and stuff are just going to be kind of a whenever thing, you know. Obviously the monthly update videos are still going to go on. Um, I'll, you know, continue talking about what's going to be happening and stuff that's going on in my life and things like that. Um, I also, speaking of which, I did some cleaning up on my uh, YouTube playlists. So I added all of the vlogs up to the most current one. I made two separate playlists where it orders the vlogs in order of, you know, you know, basically like from 1 to 252, and then there's another one where it's 252 to 1. So you can watch the vlogs in either order. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'll try to keep them updated as I add vlogs and stuff like that. And I've already completed the Andy Japandi playlist as well, so if you want to check that out, um, there's that. I'm still working on thumbnails, descriptions, and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I got a lot of videos, so it's going to take a lot of time. It's by no means an overnight deal. <laughs> so it's going to take a lot of time to get all that stuff taken care of. So, uh, just tackle it bit by bit, you know, maybe change a thumbnail around. Stuff like that, you know, just whatever. So that's basically what's going to be going on. And also, I don't want to, uh, <laughs> I'll, I guess I'll give you guys a little teaser, but, uh, you know, when I do transfer to uh, Wright State, if I get accepted, obviously I don't want to wanna jinx myself, but if, if it does happen that I transfer to Wright State, I'll be closer to my best friend, the Talking Vidalkin, so there's another possibility of doing uh, collabs and stuff, so... We could do, I don't know, first, first Impact Anime. I've been shooting a bunch of different ideas with him. You know, maybe doing like a Let's Play or something like that. So I think that would be a lot of fun. So that's another possibility for uh, when I transfer to Wright State. If I get accepted, of course. You know, I don't want to jinx myself. Knock on pillow. <laughs> but anyway, this vlog is getting a little too long. So uh, I'll end things here and get to bed. So... With that said, this is the Andy Sound. Signing off for now. Thanking you guys Poop, for tuning into this late night vlog and for watching my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.